Hi guys! Unfortunately, in the modern world, people are used to paying attention to negative events rather than positive. This is evident from almost any news thread out there. Newspapers and TV reports are full of bad stuff. But there are kind people out there still, and they try to make things better every day. So it looks like there's still hope for humanity. Some say that the more money and power you acquire, the less soul you have left. Although, all people are different, and it's not always the case. So let's talk about the man of wealth and power who managed to keep his heart and soul intact despite his wealth. The story of a 54-year-old multimillionaire reminds you of a plot of a fairy tale, where the main character is wise enough to be good to those who are good to him. Shang Shengua was born in Shangquang village, not far from a city of Xinyu in southern China. The man is 54 now, is mature and wealthy, but he always had a special place in his heart for that little place he grew up in. He's fond of his parents who are very wise and kind people. Shang feels deep love and affection to those who surrounded him back in the days. He remembers his neighbors being good to him. So looking back at his childhood, Shang realizes the important role those kind people played in his life. When the time has come, Shang left his native village and headed for the big world. He made his first millions building houses, and later found himself involved into steel making. Despite all the difficulties and hardships, Shang never forgot those who helped him out when he needed that help. He says that without the support of the kind people of Shang Kang village, there would be no that strong and powerful Shang Shenghua. He says that the things he did for his village is a call of his heart. The man took down all those old and rusty houses and erected some brand new comfortable homes for free. This is what the village looked like before. Apart from real estate, Shang built some new roads that connect the village with some major cities and settlements. Before, those dirt roads were simply unbearable. The 76 families now live comfortably in modern houses, and 18 other families live in luxurious villas. They also get free meals three times a day, every day for the rest of their lives. I always pay my debts, says Shang. I wanted to make sure that people who were kind to me and my family would receive some of my own kindness. Villagers remember Shenghua family as kind and honest. A lot of people say good things about Shang's parents and thank them for their lovely son. Now that the village has been renovated, the man promised to make sure that people would never starve or be in need. Shang took special care of the old-timers, remembering how good they were to kids. When things were rough, those people never gave up and always hoped for the best. By the way, the project cost 10 million dollars, but the mogul doesn't want to stop there and is planning to keep on spending. He says that while he's still alive, he might as well do some good for the people. You can't take all your money to the grave, he says. So what do you think, guys? Is that a noble deed or is it something else? Thank you for watching. Make sure you press the like button. We'll see you next time.